mock hair. Y'all know how I do cookbooks, bring informational meal. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've been talking about the last two videos is talking about like day to day, you know, practical affairs, how to cope, how to deal with life, life situations as they arise, as curveballs are thrown at us. So I want to continue in that vein. Uh, it, it's important that we understand that, you know, if, 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 I'm always talking about evolution, right? I'm always talking about evolving and become like my old, my whole mentality is to become the best, better version of myself. And every day I strive for that. Every single day I work hard to be the best person I can be. And we got to understand that we got to chalk up our faults to humanity, right? We're all humans. And as human beings, we're flawed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are all flawed. I spoke about brokenness. Everyone's broken. The, dis the distinction, however, is the degree to which we're flawed and the degree to which we're broken. But nonetheless, everyone's broken and flawed. So me personally, you know, I do a lot of self-development, meditation, uh, a lot of studying, exercise, just things to uh, <clears throat> to just to keep my 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 energy field generally positive. Right. I try to reside in a state that is positive. Uh, it's very difficult because we're constantly being pulled and uh, contorted by various forces. Matter can be manipulated, and all of us are matter. So uh, you can manipulate matter. So therefore, we are all being manipulated, uh, whether you know it or you don't know it, with, to some extent, by the day-to-day -day affairs of life. So I, this video is really just to say that anybody who is not satisfied or who don't like what I'm becoming... That's that's fair. That's OK. You don't have to. You have a right to not like that. But what you don't have a right to is to try to uh, keep me in my past. Right. And folks, here's the reality. People who know you, let's say, you know, 10, 15, 20 people who know what you used to be uh, will always try to remind you of that. They will always try to keep you uh, in that light. But dare you to let them do that. It's important that we understand that, you know, not everyone wants to see you shine bright. Not everyone can uh, bear and endure the light that, that, that you radiate. A lot of people are intimidated by the light that you're radiating. Uh, it, it might make them feel insecure about their own lack of radiation in terms of their, their own light. Uh, sometimes people can have... Uh, a passive form of jealousy where it's not aggressively shown and it's not vigorously acted on, but it seeps out in their behavior, their passive aggressive behavior towards you uh, or a resistive type of attitude towards you. And it's up to you to be wise enough to understand where it's coming from and what it is and what it is not, not to be deluded, eluded or confused or confusticated uh, by words that come out of their mouth. People will confusticate you. They will, you know, bewilder you. They will uh, perplex you with words if you allow them to. But it is up to you to have the insights, the uh, the profundity of, of, of knowledge to know the heart of your fellow man, to know the nature of your fellow man. And if you don't have that understanding and knowing uh, the nature of the, of the uh, in the heart of mankind, then woe be unto you. Woe be unto you, because perilous shall be your days that you spend upon this earth if you're not uh, walking in that uh, cognizance, if you're not walking in that uh, level of awareness. Uh, folks, it's, um, it's, very, it's vitally important that we understand that there are various aspects and facets of the human mind, the human psyche. And I'll keep it very simple without going into too much details, but there's the sub, and then there's the, there's the, uh, the consciousness. And the subconsciousness is responsible for about 90% of our deeds and or actions. Uh, so that leaves only 10% of an awareness. So when people make certain aggressive or passive aggressive actions towards you, uh, it's not that they're consciously doing it. Sometimes they're not even aware that they're doing it because, again, the subconsciousness is where 
90% of your actions are dictated and mediated from. So on a sub level, people will have animosity towards you. There can be some kind of rancor. There can be some kind of bitterness, some kind of animus uh, that is latent. And I say latent because again, folks, it's very subtle. It's a subtle form of an attack. It's a subtle energy. It's a subtle transference of, of negative entities uh, that the person might not be aware of. And here's why they might not be aware of it. In order for energy to be transferred, right? This is physics and science. In order for energy to be transferred, there must be a medium with the exception of light. Light is the only energy that does not need a medium because light has a... Uh, it. It vacillates at a certain uh, perpendicular angle where it actually creates its own its own uh, medium, its own vehicle of transference. But and and uh, but all other forms of energy needs a medium to be transferred. So therefore, a person is a host. You and I, our body uh, will serve as a host for energy to be transferred. So a lot of times. Uh, people will transfer a, ne a negative energy will be transferred to you through the host of a person. That person could be your family. It could be your friend. It could be your loved one, your spouse. It can be any, any host. Uh, and here's what makes a person a very viable and uh, susceptible and vulnerable host to that energy. Uh, when then, when it is being done on a subconscious level. So that means that they're not even fully, fully aware that they're being utilized by an entity to be a host to convey that energy to you because energy can only be transferred by means of a host. So a lot of times people around you will serve as that host for that negative entity to be able to enter into your lives. That's why I talked about burning bridges because sometimes bridges are hosts. That's all they are. They're a host for the entity, the energy to get into your, into your, uh, your magnetic field, into your, and here's the thing. You have a field. All of us have a field that surrounds us. So your field is a composition of various things. There's various forces within your field, various entities, good, bad, and indifferent within your field. So if an if a, if a, if a, if a, if a external force or an outside entity wants to enter into your field to disrupt your field or to bring your field to disequilibrium, to bring your field into a field of... Uh, your field generates your thoughts, okay? Uh, and at the same token... Uh, inspire your behavior, inspires, stimulates your behavior, your behavior patterns, your deeds, the things, your acts. So if an entity, an outside force wants to destabilize your field, it has to find a way to get in. And the only way it can get in is by a host. It needs a host. And and once that host is, is, is around, then it can transfer into your field. And then your field will then, again, uh, engineer your thought process or your thought patterns and and then that results in in your uh behavior and whether it's constructive or destructive it's, ba it's based off the uh the entity the underlying asset the under not asset excuse me i'm thinking finance the underlying currents okay the underpinnings uh that will determine your action so folks it's so vitally important that we guard uh, you know the bible in proverbs says guard your heart because out of it come all the concerns the issues the uh affairs of life. And the reason Solomon says this is because of what I just stated in the aforementioned. Uh, so it is, it is, uh, it, you know, don't let people keep you in your past. Don't let people keep you into what you have be you, what you were, uh, continue to strive to become what you are to be. Because again, your whole purpose on this life is to maximize your potential. Uh, your purpose is to germinate as a cell, to germinate as a uh, from a cell into a uh, a species, an organism, and to to, to 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 become to maximize, okay, to be to to exercise and to exhibit all of your potential. That's your ultimate purpose in this world. And uh, there there are those out there who would love nothing more than to keep you into in your primitive state or your pre-programmed state. Uh, there are those who would like to uh, remind you, okay, of uh, what you used to be, and 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 uh, they 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 thrive on that. There's a there's a certain satisfaction. It's a sickening psyche, I know, but there are a lot of people like that, and it is a it is an illness of the mind. There is a certain sickness in the mind that gives gratification to that. Right, uh, you used to be this. Remember when you were this? You know. 
And, and, and really and truly, it's a silent secret envy. It's a silent secret jealousy. This is the, the motive, the, the undercurrents, the underlying uh, pin, the underpinnings beneath that attitude. It's really like a, a secret, very secretive, very subtle kind of jealousy form. Um, they don't, they're not even aware of it, but you have to be, because this is where, again, uh, you know, remember the movie Matrix, Neil was the only one who can see what was real. Everyone else just saw what the appearance, the Matrix itself, but Neil was the one and the one always have that extra, that vision. He's the, he was the visionary. He was able to see what no one else could see. So I say that to say that you have to be able to see where people, what's the motivation, like what's really driving people's actions towards you, whether it's aggressively, uh, actively aggressive or passively aggressive, you have to understand where it's coming from. And most often than not, it's some kind of subtle jealousy, some kind of subtle envy, especially if you know you have done nothing wrong to really, uh, and you know in your heart, if you've done anything to, to kind of like uh, slight the person or you know, piss the person off or do anything to really like, uh, aggravate that person. If it's just a, uh, where in your heart, you know, that you haven't done anything and there's just a, uh, like a, it's just a neutral, right? It's like nothing you've done to really, uh, provoke the uh, response. Then you have to understand there's some kind of, uh, some, some unresolved issues there, whether it's jealousy, envy, some kind of hate, animus, rancor. Uh, and it's not up to you to really, figure it out and fix the person. That's not your job. You're not a psychologist. Your job is to guard yourself from it, to be aware of it and understand the effects it has on you and on your life and, 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 and your job, your career, your family and protect yourself, guard yourself from it. So, you know, as we age, as we get older, I, I, I hope and pray that we get wiser and that uh, our our pineal gland, our third eye, uh, that we activate you know, the super, the super chiasmatic nuclei, which is a, a gland in the center of the brain, uh, it's, 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 it, it helps with uh, secretion of what's called DMT, dimethyltryptamine, uh, and which, is, which is a chemical the brain secretes that gives you uh, like a dimensional kind, another dimensional kind of experience. People actually take drugs. I forgot what the drug is called, but people take drugs to activate this uh, this gland and, 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 and this chemical so that they can get that out, out of other worldly kind of experience. But it's, you don't have to take drugs. It's naturally, it's something that's naturally within us. And you, you hear people talk about having like out of body experiences, you know, just having these supernatural experiences. Well, DMT is what's, uh, primarily responsible for that. So, uh, you know, meditate, meditate on your powers, meditate on your, your gifts, uh, and here's the thing. One more thing before I run. Love yourselves, folks. Love yourself unconditionally, because at the end of the day, you have to live with you. Right. No one else has to live with you. It's a very when you stop and think about life. Life is a very lonely journey. Very, very lonely journey. And for those who don't believe, go back and look last year. How many uh, high end, high notoriety celebrities killed themselves? You know, all the money in the world. Life can be life is a very lonely journey because at the end of the day, you, you were born by yourself and the odds are you're going to die by yourself. And uh, you came into this world with nothing. And, you know, I believe it was Denzel Washington. I saw his quote says, you never see a U-Haul truck following a hearse, <laughs> which is very true. You take nothing out of this world with you. All that you take with you is the, the character with which you live and you leave your legacy behind your name, uh, not your literal name, but your reputation. So. It, you know, love yourself no matter what critique or complaint or opinion people have of you. The bottom line is it, they could, it could be true. It could be true. Uh, it, opinions, things people say about you, there is a possibility it could be true. But even if it is, uh, no matter what, you still have to love yourself because you have to live with you. People will give up on you. People will give up on you because they see a flaw in you or some kind of character uh, trait that it's not favorable or it's, it's, it's repellent. It's something that they don't like, whatever. The reality is you still have to live with you. They could give up on you. They could leave you, but you can't leave you. Wherever you go, there you shall be. Okay, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> so you can't escape yourself. It's, it's in a lot. You are ineluctable from yourself. Meaning it's it's on a, it's inescapable. You can't get away from yourself. Uh, so love yourself. Love yourself 
uh, to the moon and back. Take care of yourself. Uh, let no man's opinion or words about you alter, modify, and or change who you are at core. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Love yourself. Having said that, if you have a vice, uh, a drug problem, alcoholic problem, or something that is really, really detrimental to your health and those around you, and people are pointing that out, then obviously you, need, you, do, you do need to make changes if, if there are things that are uh, external and those, those things are very detrimental and harmful. Barring that, if we're talking about just your humanity, right, where, you know, your humanity, you have flaws, you're not perfect, you have, uh, you know, traits that are not the most desirable traits or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, you cannot give up on yourself. Others will give up on you, but never give up on yourself, never stop loving yourself, never stop believing in yourself, believe in yourself, take on the mindset of, of uh of absolute faith, the mindset of absolute belief, the mindset of absolute love, the mindset of absolute self-determination, self-realization, self-sufficiency, because at the end of the day, folks, you are all you have in this world. Your wife will leave you, your, 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 your husband will leave you, your kids will one day grow up and leave you. Uh, everything goes, you know, second law of thermodynamics says that the universe tends towards entropy, which is the sort of chaos and so on and so forth. So if you, again, I don't want to go into physics and science and all that, but it, everything eventually will leave you. Everyone, excuse me, eventually will leave you. That's life. It's the cycle. So all you have when it's all said and done, when the lights go out and the party's over, you have only you. So love yourself to hell with everybody else who, who have anything negative to say about you. Screw them. You do, do not do not fall into the psyche of trying to uh, curry acceptance and favor from people. Don't ever. I made that mistake years ago, Year, eons, thousands of years ago. I've made that mistake. Ancient time, ancient times. I've made that mistake. Uh, today, never, not in a million years. And I, I uh, advise you never fall into the psyche of trying to curry favor and people's acceptance. Uh, curry God's favor and God acceptance, but not man, not people. Uh, because it, if you're trying to please people, here's, here's a, a quick uh, example. If two people are standing opposite you and you're trying to please both of them, when you turn around to please one, your back is going to be facing the other. And then when you turn around to please the other, your back will be simultaneously facing the other. So you can't please both of them at the same time. It's impossible. If, if, if that analogy makes any sense. Once you turn, if you keep going back and forth to, and that represents you pleasing them, you're always going to be displeasing the person behind you. So the reality is you can't please everyone. Uh, if you flip a coin, it can't land on heads and tails. It has to land on one or the other. There is, it, you know, that is, it is mutually, uh, what's the term? It's mutually, uh, I can't believe the term is exclusive. Yeah, it's mutually exclusive. Right. That is mutually exclusive. Both cannot exist simultaneously. It's either heads or it's tails. You can't you can't have both. So you won't be able to please everyone in life. Right. Be grateful for the people who come into your life and they are a blessing. Oh, my God, be grateful for them because more people are going to come into your life. That's a curse than a blessing. OK, uh, trust me. It's experience here talking. So be grateful for the one or two. If you're lucky, you get two. be grateful for the one. Uh, or the half, or whatever you get, be grateful for that because uh, every everyone everyone walks around with their own prejudices and bags of problems, issues, and so on and so forth. And a lot of people are like garbage trucks, right? Dump trucks, and they're just looking for someone to dump their trash on, so that they can purge, you know, uh, themselves. Uh, I talked about catharsis and cathartic. Uh, and purgative and pur purgative and a purgation, right? Purgation, purgative, catharsis, cathartic, which are all words that pretty much mean the same thing a purging, a cleansing, an emotional releasing tension, stressors, and so on and so forth. So, a lot those words that I just mentioned are all, uh, rep they all represent the, the, the actual trash that's in the uh, the dump truck, and the dump truck represents the mind in this, in this, uh, Allegor in this alleg uh, anecdotal story or this allegorical uh, depiction, the dump truck would be their mind, and the uh, the adjectives I just described, uh, the, the the adjectives I just named, or the uh, actual trash, they represent the trash. So a lot of people are going to look to dump their trash on you, 
And it's not because they hate you. It's not because they want to hurt, hurt you. Some do, some don't, but it's not necessarily that. It's because the weight, the weight that they walk around with, a lot of people are walking around with heavy, heavy, heavy weight in their psyche. And they're bogged down, they're burdened down. And then God forbid you come around them and they see you have a certain buoyancy, right? You have a certain buoyancy about you. You have a certain pizzazz, you know, there's like a certain a certain uh, pep in your step, you know, uh, that pisses them off. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. I feel bogged. I feel heavy, heavy laden. I feel uh, overwhelmed. Like my boat has so much water in it. I feel like I'm going to cap, you know, capsize at any moment. And this person here looks, you know, uh, jovial. They look very uh, charismatic and, 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 and there's a certain... Uh, you know, there's a certain, uh, certain thing about them. I have to throw my trash on them, right? That's a sick psyche of, of, of human beings and, and, and mankind. So, you know, uh, be aware of the entities, the energies that are surrounding your circle. Uh, guard it with your life. Preserve it. And let no man's opinion alter, modify, and or change who you are at core. Love yourself, folks. Till next time, Mark here. I'll be talking to you all soon. Peace.